Hello! Welcome to my channel. I am very excited to be doing a collaboration with one of my best friends on YouTube and in life in general and that is Kitty Snack aka Katie here on YouTube and on Instagram. I talk about her all the goddamn time. We have a lot in common. We both have My Chemical Romance tattoos. I fucking love her and I hope that you guys go check out her part of the collaboration. Go subscribe to her. I'm really excited to see what she does and I am excited to show you guys how I got this look inspired by Kitty Snack. I've done this look so many times before. She did this look and photographed it in my apartment when she came to a fame expo and then after that day I copied this eye look so many goddamn times. It's one of my favorite eye looks to do. It just looks freaking amazing on her and I hope that you guys like my little inspired by Katie, Kitty Snack video. I could like put together a whole pile of products and a whole bunch of looks that I've done inspired by her but you know <laughs> for the sake of one video this is my inspired by Kitty's neck little get ready with me hope you guys enjoy okay so I'm going to start off with skincare I'm going to go in with the Polish Choice clear anti-redness exfoliating solution I thought it might be helpful to kind of like show you guys how I do my skincare because I do have oily skin like Katie does too. So I'm just going to show you guys how like I can get my makeup to stay kind of flawless despite having oily skin. And then I'm going to go in with the Polish Choice Clear Daily Skin Clearing Treatment. I just want a little little tiny bit to put it on like blemishes like I have. Uh, down here, whatever. I just kind of like problem areas that I have, you know, like my chin, my forehead, whatever. I have a $10 off your first order of Polish Choice product. I will leave that down below. And what it is, it's a referral program. So you get $10, I get $10. So if you guys want to go ahead and after you order, you can go ahead and make your own referral program and then refer all your friends, you know, just get some money back, store credit to continue buying amazing products. I love Polish Choice. Not all their products are vegan, but a lot of them are. They do have a vegan list as well. So I went ahead and washed my hands because you don't really want any of that acne treatment to go inside of your eyes or whatever. So I'm going to go in with my Resist Polish Choice I'm a Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense and <laughs> it's about to be gone. But I just put in an order this morning, so that should be here in a couple days. But this stuff is an SPF and a moisturizer, and it keeps my face so matte. When I don't use this stuff, I notice a huge difference. So, you know, I can use all the primers, all the setting powders I want, but this stuff, I think it really does make a difference. Next, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Oh, when I don't use this too, it like, you can, you can notice, so... It fills in your pores. I think it's just as good as the Milk Blur Stick. I tried them both. I like this better. The e.l.f. primer is six bucks, so yeah, all of e.l.f. is vegan. All right, we're gonna start with eyes because I don't want any fallout and we're going to use some bright ass colors. I'm going to prime my eyes with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus concealer this is in the shade I light ivory I love this stuff so I'm just gonna prime my eyelids I like using concealer instead of eye primer for some reason this is not only inspired by Katie but this is like copied by Katie <laughs> whatever it's fine um, but we're using vegan products, so it's a little bit different. So I'm going to go in with my Melt Radioactive Stack, and I'm going to go in with the shade... Oh my god, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called Neon. No, it's not. Radon. Okay, so we're going to go in with Radon. I'm going to take this Sugar Pill Tapered Blending and Crease Brush. And just tap off that excess, because this shit is pigmented. And then just go in the crease and less is going to be more starting this off so we just want it very very light 
in the crease area. But I'm not a makeup artist, you guys. Like, I just like makeup, so I've never really done a tutorial. And so we're doing, like, a little get ready with me. And I'm going to use one of my absolute favorite brushes for doing a halo eye. And this is the Real Techniques brush. I don't know what it's called. Oh, 201, there you go. Mine is dirty because I used it yesterday. I switched out the colors, so it's fine. And then I'm just going to pack that color on the outside, like the outer third area. And then also like the inner inner part of it. This brush makes it like so effortless and then just kind of like bring them two together at the top. This is one of Katie's favorite eye looks to do and she used my stack when she came to LA but she liked her Urban Decay electric palette better which is not vegan so you know I like this better because it's vegan. <laughs> no I'm just kidding. Um, I've never used a um, Urban Decay one, but I like that there's a vegan option so that I can do the same kind of eye look. I'm going to use In the Spotlight by Makeup Geek, and I'm just going to go in with my finger because this one is actually vegan. The one that she likes to use by Makeup Geek is not vegan, so I found that this one, In the Spotlight, actually like looks really nice. I'm just going to put it on the top there. And I like using my fingers for like a lot of makeup peak foil shadows because I feel like they go on really freaking pretty. I'm going to go back in with the Real Techniques brush and just kind of like blend that back and forth. Then I'm just going to take this sugar pill blending brush again and just blend upwards. Next thing I'm going to do is highlight my brow bone and I am going to go in with the Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush. I think you guys can use the code... Sigma 2017 and I think it takes money off your order. I love this brush. Um, I've been using it for probably two years. It's just really nice for like the inner corner or whatever. We're not going to do the inner corner right now, but it works really nice for that. Anyway, I'm going to go in with my Strobe Cosmetics Gleaming Gardenia. It's kind of sad this looks. This is such a beautiful inner highlight, brow highlight. I'm going to have to get one for Katie because I know that she would freaking die over this color. I know that she loves Shimma Shimma, and I like Shimma Shimma too, but I just wanted something like a little bit more ice, icy white, just to give it a nice little like uh, more intense of a contrast there. So I'm going to go in with my foundation. This is the Sonia Kashuk Satin Matte Foundation, I believe it's called. Yeah, this isn't my most favorite, favorite foundation. But I do like it. I'm just going to take like quite a few pumps there. Maybe like four pumps because I like my shit to be full coverage. And I'm going to go in with my beauty blender because I love my beauty blender. <sighs> Damn it. I should have used the Eco Tool sponge because I haven't used it yet. And this does smell like, you know, perfumey. But I don't mind. I don't really mind scents in my makeup. Because it goes away after like a few minutes or whatever that is something to note because i know that it really bothers some people so this is like perfectly my shade probably not and it probably doesn't look perfect on camera this is the shade 01 bisque i think it looks good for me i think if you're lighter than me for reference i wear a cover fx shade of n20 in between N10 and N20. N20 sometimes feels like a little dark and N10 is sometimes like a little light. So somewhere in between there, I can usually get away with wearing them mixed together or one or the other and no one really clock me. Ooh, this looks orange. It's also like obviously March and I never go outside. So, I haven't used this foundation in a little while, so that's probably why it looks really dark when normally it looks pretty matched. I'm just going to take a little bit more and take that down my neck. Blend that in a little bit nicer. It also looks like it's oxidizing a little bit. I'm going to go back in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I love this concealer because it really like goes on like a freaking dream. 
so I got the concealer underneath my eyes just the places where you want to like highlight down your nose on your forehead above the cupid's bow and on my chin and then like a little bit on the sides of my face where I have some discoloration and then just take my beauty blender again and blend that up And then while my foundation is still wet, I'm going to take the Anastasia Dip Brow. Mine is in granite, and I <laughs> know that Katie and I both like dark brows. I'm going to actually be using the Furless Brush, PRO7M. It's an angled brush, and it kind of like shears out the product a little bit, so it, your brows aren't going to be as defined. If I'm going to be honest, I'm probably going to do a lot of this off camera because my brows take forever one of the questions that i get all the time is so like how do you do your brows and i'm gonna go in with my anastasia i don't know what it's called because it wore off so i'm basically done with my eyebrows and i just you know took the color um underneath and above but i didn't put anything at the very front and people always wonder like how do you get that tapered look and i'll show you how you're gonna take the spoolie and all you're gonna do is just blend very very lightly and i know this is like basic if you <laughs> do makeup by my friends who don't do makeup this is a question that i get all the time and I, it took me forever to like learn how to do this so don't put any product at the front of your brows and then just blend then you're gonna have that nice little tapered look at the end i'm gonna go in with this furless me5 brush i'm gonna go back in with that radon color and pack that on my lower lash line I feel like setting your face after you have your brows done and after you have your lower lash line done, it just helps the product stick better. And I know I was always afraid of like my face creasing, but it actually, it's not that bad. I'm just going to take my um, furless brush and then just kind of blend that so it doesn't look so harsh. Then I'm going to be using something very special. I'm going to be using the Ofra Everglow Highlighter. This is the new Nikki Tutorials collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics. I do have a discount code with Ofra that you guys can use. It is, I'll just put it right here, make it easier for everyone. As you guys know, me and Katie are both very fair and I wanted to use something that's going to be fair girl friendly and this color right here definitely speaks to my soul, but it's very good for everyone. It's meant to, you know, be good for every single skin tone. The other two right here, I think I could pull this color off as a highlighter. I think the white one is going to be a little bit better suited for me. The other one I can definitely use as a eyeshadow. I love Ofra highlighters for that. They have like two or three that are like a bunch of highlighters all in one and you can kind of mix and match your own um, highlighters. So I really love Ofra for that. Anyway, we're gonna go in with the Royal and Langnickel Highlight and Glow Brush. And I'm going to go in with that white color before I set my foundation. Highlight my nose. And then highlight my cheek. My chin. Above the cupid's bow. And then my other cheek. I love Ofra highlighters. Like, I don't even have any bright lights or anything right now. And I think they look pretty freaking bomb. Next thing is I'm actually going to set my face and I'm going to set it with the Wet n Wild Take On Day Mattifying Powder. I love this stuff. I think it works really great for oily skin. But what I think you have to do is you have to take one of these giant brushes and this is a furless CB4. It's really dense and I'm just going to swirl my brush, get a nice bunch of product in there. And what I'm going to do is just like beat my freaking face like press that into your skin and, and I think this like totally helps mattify your face it totally takes the tackiness off of your face I freaking adore this powder so much I'm gonna go in with my wet and wild I used this yesterday so again it's gonna be dirty this is the blush brush and I love using this for contour and I'm gonna use my elf contour palette and 
take that cool shade and just kind of like lightly dust it down my cheek nothing too severe just a light contour oh that one got a little bit severe it's okay we'll just make this one a little bit more severe uh i like using this brush because it's cheap and i shouldn't say cheap it's affordable so i hope that i'm showing you guys like a good mix of like affordable and more pricey products so i can reach a variety of your preferences that's what i try to do oof oops that's what I try to do on my um, Instagram, is just try to reach like a lot of audiences so everyone can kind of feel included and everyone has like a nice option for buying cruelty free and vegan items because there's really so much available out there like both high end drugstore. I'm just going to go in with my Candid Coral Blush by um, e.l.f because we have like a very warm kind of look going on so I think it's going to complement that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my e.l.f mascara primer and we're not even gonna fuck with false lashes today. I know that this is a look inspired by Katie, but um, I know that she loves wearing false lashes, but I just don't feel like fucking with them today. My eyes have been so irritated lately, like you guys know that. I don't even want to give them the opportunity to mess up on me. Next, I'm gonna take this Makeup Geek um full spectrum eyeliner pencil in the shade nude and then line my lower waterline then i'm going to take my pacifica dream big mascara and coach my lashes when me and katie talked about doing this collaboration together like i knew what look i was gonna do but I didn't want to jump to this look because I always do this look and this is like one of my favorite looks that she's done and I love copying it because it's so freaking easy and versatile. I tried really hard not to do this look and then I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to do it because fuck it. And I also just really love how I can be inspired by someone who she's cruelty free but doesn't necessarily use all vegan products and then make a similar kind of look using vegan products. I've never used this before. I'm about to open this. This is called Nudie Patootie by Wet n Wild. This is their new cat suit. Cat suit. Cat suit. Liquid lipstick. You guys, I don't know if I like this formula. It's so freaking streaky. This is like the third one to do it, but I'm going to use it anyway. I'm just going to roll with it. Um, no look copying um katie would be the same without some dead girl glam so just use some freaking concealer lips i love this look if you guys think i'm kidding it's not a joke okay so they don't look that bad once they're on once it's on. So I'm just gonna take a minute to wipe the mascara off my eyelid and do my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to go subscribe to Katie's channel, go follow her on Instagram and all the places. She is amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting our collaboration. Love you guys so much. See you all in my next video.